One of the great, most atmospheric venues anywhere in the football world. We're at the home of Borussia Dortmund. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League. The group stage and match day one. My goodness, so much to look forward to. It is Borussia Dortmund up against Ajax. Well, the first game of the group is so vital. You just can't get off to a losing start. This could be a tight battle today, Derek. Borussia Dortmund side. Rafael Guerrero starts with Thomas Minier as fullbacks. Julian Brandt plays alongside Marco Reus in central midfield. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal scoring threat. And the starting 11 for Ajax. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. It's the opening match day. Champions League group stage match day one underway. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. And the cross is immediately dealt with. Well, it's always a great thrill to watch Erling Haaland in action. He can be absolutely unstoppable. And we should expect that he'll have a prominent role to play in this one, Stuart. Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. Now, hold on, Stuart. They're in here. And just like that, the break has stopped. Really top quality defending. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. He got nothing but ball. He's conceded the corner. Royce taking this one, not messing around with that clearance. Marco Royce making progress. Textbook defending inside the box. Space on the flank. How about the cross? Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. Who can he pick out? It didn't happen for them. Cross fired over and cleared away. Manuel Akanji. 
Counter-attacking very much an option. All hands on deck. Now able to close down the shot. Ryan Grafenberg. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Can he do it from miles out? Bellingham. And Bellingham. And danger still. But no, that's the end of the move because offside is the verdict. For more on the injury, let's go down to our reporter, Jeff Shreves. Can he give them the advantage? Able to clear the danger, at least for now. And Bellingham. And pulled back. Shuri! And denied by the keeper. Impressive. And Bellingham. And it's here! 1-0! They clinch the defence! Well, just watch this again. It's a really good goal, but it's no surprise, is it? They've been in complete control here. get the game restarted disappointed to have conceded can they find a quick response now far from a smooth challenge now will the referee produce a card and that is going to mean a caution the referee is absolutely right he knew what he was doing there straight into the meat of the penalty area well he didn't miss by all that much with the header just a little bit off target Brandt Jude Bellingham and this is a voice takes his own whatever way you look at that it's been squandered Sebastian Allaire. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Oh, a nice looking pass. And the snuffing out of the cross there. Cuts it back. Brilliantly blocked. Can someone get on the end of this? Making sure nothing came of it. And there the first half ends. Mm -hmm. 
And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Daily Blitz. What can Ajax do from this position? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Axel Witzel. Able to skip past his man. It might be. And the keeper flings himself at the ball. Well, the referee allowed them to continue, but now he's going to go back and hand out the yellow card, Stuart. Well, he thought he was going to get away with that, but quite rightly, he's got a booking. Corner kick played in. Substitution it is for Dortmund. Well, a second goal for them here. Looking ball in behind. And off the crossbar. Well, he must have thought that was in. He struck it so cleanly. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. And the timing was perfect. Ball one. Oh, in with a chance. It's got to be. And it goes. The lead just gets bigger. Surely they Well, just look at how poor the defending is here. But I have to say, it's still a very tidy finish. He looked really assured there. Now the ball is rolling once more, and Borussia Dortmund are really in the mood here. to Rome on the wing but nothing comes of it good defending it was it is going to be a Dortmund free kick nice looking pass and the flag does go up offside And Dortmund will go to the bench.
20 minutes to go in this one. Holland and attempting the through ball. Well, from that position, he really should be doing more to work the goalkeeper. Substitution time it is here. Here's a voice. Determined defending. He got nothing but ball. He's conceded the corner. Delivering it. And I think it's fair to say the pressure from the defender put him off a bit. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Royce. Meunier. So deflection, and they can get ready for the corner kick routine. Well, what about that opportunity a few minutes ago? We can see it again now. Marco Royce with the corner. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Chan. Counter attacking, very much an option. Dortmund with the ball once more. Holland. Is this the moment? Well, decent effort, but not troubling the keeper too much. And the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes are in order. Given away by Ajax. He went in so dangerously with that tackle. Now, the referee is the man everyone's looking at. And he's been dismissed. This will be a real test of their defensive resilience. Well, he had to go, didn't he? They'll need to reshape their defence quickly here. Thumps clear. David Neres. And there goes the final whistle. Sadly, it's a disappointing start for Ajax in this group stage. Well, that's not the result they were looking for. It makes the next game really important now. They need to respond in that one. Well, there's a good reason why we're highlighting him. Really dominant in attack in this game, Stuart. Well, he should be pleased with himself today because he performed really well, he scored a good goal and they won the game. An excellent day all round.